Hello, my name is John Nagoski. I have been an English teacher for 20 years. I'd like to introduce you to my channel, English with Subtitles. Pandemic Diseases, as read by John Nagoski. Diseases are a natural part of life on Earth. If there were no diseases, the population will grow quickly and there would not be enough food or other resources. So in a way, diseases are natural ways of keeping the earth in balance. But sometimes they spread very quickly and kill large numbers of people. For example, in 1918, an outbreak of the flu across the world killed over 25 million people in only six months. Such terrible outbreaks of a disease are called pandemics. Pandemics happen when a disease changes in a way that our bodies are not prepared to fight. In 1918, a new type of flu virus appeared. Our bodies had no way to fight this new flu virus, and so it spread very quickly and killed large numbers of people. While there have been many different pandemic diseases throughout history, all of them have a new thing in common. First, all pandemic diseases spread from one person to another very easily. Second, while they may kill many people, they generally do not kill people very quickly. A good example of this would be the Marburg virus. The Marburg virus was an extremely infectious disease. About 70 to 80 percent of all people who got the Marburg virus died from the disease. However, the Marburg virus had not become a pandemic because most people die within three days of getting the disease. This means that the virus did not have enough time to spread to a large number of people. The flu virus of 1918, on the other hand, generally took about a week or 10 days to kill its victims, so it had more time to spread. While we may never be able to completely stop pandemics, we can make them less common. Doctors carefully monitor new diseases that they fear could become pandemics. For example, in 2002 and 2003, doctors carefully watched SARS, S-A-R-S. Their health warnings may have prevented SARS from becoming a pandemic. Exercise. Choose the best answer. Number one. This passage is mainly about A. Pandemic diseases. B. Pandemic diseases throughout history. C. How to prevent pandemic diseases. D. Why pandemic diseases happen. According to paragraph 1, how are diseases a natural part of life on Earth? A. They help the world grow quickly. B. They prevent pandemics. C. They kill too many people. D. They help control the population. Number 3. Based on the information in the passage, the term pandemics can be explained as A. New diseases like SARS or the Marburg virus B. A deadly kind of flu C. Diseases with no cure D. Diseases that spread quickly and kill large numbers of people Number four, according to the passage, all of the following are true of the 1918 flu pandemic, except that A, it killed over 25 million people. B, it was the last pandemic in history. C, it involved a new kind of flu virus. D, it took a little over a week to kill its victims. Number five, according to the passage, what causes a pandemic? A, 
careless doctors who do not watch the spread of diseases, b. the failure to make new medicines, c. changes in a disease that the body cannot fight, d. population growth that the world cannot support. Number six, the word it in the passage refers to a pandemics, b flu virus, c bodies, d diseases. Number seven, the author mentions SARS in order to a give an example of a highly dangerous disease, b give an example of the successful prevention of a pandemic. C. Suggest that there may be a new pandemic soon. D. Suggest that SARS will never become a pandemic. This concludes the reading of Pandemic Diseases, as read by John Nagoski.